Yes, James Wallace, vice president of Ripple, says that we work with a lot of them. Their main defense is not disclosing information. I believe he talks about countries and banks. And every central bank will use XRP as a bridge currency to provide cash. Huge amounts of money will be added to the XRP system. Where are you working and what central banks are you working on? They're all people we work with. They. But most of them are bound by non-disclosure deals. So I can't give you all the specifics, but I can say that we work with them on every continent except Antarctica. The study from the Bank of International Settlements says that 80 to 85% of central banks do some kind of work were in different places. On May 23rd, 2024, Christina Littman, who used to be the head of a section of the SEC, said that the SEC might not appeal the Ripple case. This is another interesting piece of news. Then they made the case that discouraging people isn't necessary. This time, no one lost any money when they bought XRP. No matter what the decision is, which will likely be this summer, both sides will likely file cross appeals for the things they lost. At our next meeting, which will be at the Second Circuit, everyone will still be talking about Ripple. We may have made up our minds by then, but we'll still be talking about it. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to stick with the Ripple point. I'm interested to see if the parties file an appeal there. There is some speculation that because Judge Rykoff and the Terra opinion clearly disagreed with Judge Torres' reasoning from the Ripple opinion, Coinbase doesn't really address the Ripple decision as much, but pretty clearly follows the Terra reasoning. Some people think that the SEC might decide to leave the Ripple opinion at that and not take it to the circuit level, where they might get bad law when they have other good decisions after the Ripple legations. It will be interesting to see if either side decides to appeal that after the solution space is over, if we want to. Talk about something else interesting, Ripple City will probably bring up Satoshi. See document 827. Also, Toshi, the original author of Bitcoin, didn't know how it was distributed at the time, and Satoshi probably had a lot of XRP on hand at the time. 2017 question? I say I believe, so I don't know what to say. At that time, I'd like to compare them. Another interesting fact is that whales send more than 52 million XRP to exchanges, which is a rebound in the middle price. Also, whales moved more than 25 million tokens between different deals. The first deal involved 28.5 million XRP, and the second deal involved 23 million XRP. These amounts were correctly calculated to be worth $14 million and $11 million, respectively. They could be used in the same sequence. When whales moved their tokens to Bitstamp in the first transaction, they did the same thing again in the second transaction. But what did it do to the price of XRP? Because XRP is trading at 50 cents right now, and yesterday it was trading around 49 cents. That is not true. Another interesting fact is that the triple XRP case is set to start on June 20th, and Judge Torres was right about XRP. The SSC may not appeal, and the USCCC is not likely to appeal Judge Torres' ruling on XRP, because there are too many risks. As the XRP-BTC pair confirms a turnaround, the price of XRP should rise above 52 cents again. And SSC's choice to end the Ethereum probe brings the lawsuit between Harry Paul and SSC to light. And Stuart Alderati, CEO of Ripple, pointed out major problems with the SEC's latest decision and the lack of clarity in the rules. The other big change in the SEC US Ripple case is that Christina Rittman, who used to be the head of crypto enforcement for the SEC, said that the US CC could not appeal Judge Turley's ruling on XRP, as long as the Ripple opinion stays there as a distraction. The SEC might decide not to look into it further. Also, Liviar James Murphy, better known as Metal Man, thinks that the tokens that were named in the Coinbase case are not securities when they are traded on the secondary market. It was proven in a court case by Sir Kurt II. On top of that, he said Judge Torres was right about XRP and that the SEC could not appeal the summary ruling. Murphy also said that the SEC's switch between how it treats digital assets is showing that its points in the Coinbase hearing were not consistent with how it treats Ethereum. Also, it's interesting to know. That short traders are going after Cardano, ADA, and Ripple XRP. Do I have good balances? Also, investors are eagerly awaiting a much-needed rise in the prices of cryptocurrencies, and ADA and XRP have become two of the most well-known altcoins, seeing a lot of traders short them after a short break. There is also a slight price cap on high-end software at the moment. However, Opinion thinks that this high level of short selling could be a good sign for bulls who are patient. As of right now, the price of XRP was $0.49, cents and the market value of the cryptocurrency is $27 billion. Bitcoin's value dropped from $66,000 to $63,500. Here's how people feel about BH right now. And if we look at the fiat and Greek index, we have a natural right now. Today, Bitcoin is still on hold. Tomorrow, we'll see how this measure shows how people in fiat currencies feel about the cryptocurrency market. 
When we look at XRP, however, we see that it is selling at 49 cents and above the local trend line. Plus, it has a level of help. To keep Apple XRP stable, the important figure is 46.5 cents, then 45 cents, and finally 41.5 cents if it falls below 41.5 cents. I believe XRP could reach its lowest point in 2022, which would be 29 cents. Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel.